Hey everybody, Skyverlink here. Welcome back to another episode of Tales of Legendia. In the last episode, we made it back to Words of Speaking and got chewed out by Will and Chloe because we've been a bad boy because we're about the Zarbrat. Nah. And uh, we got Norma on our side now, which is nice because she's all like, I trusted you, Sal. Oh my god. But then she's all like, just kidding. I just want Shirley's brooch. And Sal's all like, all right, bet. And then after a little chat with the Phantom Bouncers, boun blah, 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 Phantom Bouncers, we learned that, uh, hey, Chloe and Will are going to go meet Jay the Unseen. They're going to Port on Rage. Hop to it. And we also got an offer to join the Phantom Bouncers, but Santa was like, who the hell would want to do that? And we also made preparations, too. Uh, yeah, that pretty much sums it up. This time, with all our preparations all done last time, we're going to be heading off to Port on Rage. So we're going to be doing that. And Port on Rage is just like a short hop and a skip away. Here we go, to Port on Rage. Where is it, you may ask? They said 4 o'clock, so... Literally right over there. Man, I hope we're not too late. That will surely be bad. <laughs> surely be bad? <laughs> I'm so funny. Is this really the right place? The message we found at the Fountain Plaza definitely said Port on Rage. What do we do next? Oh, someone's coming! Um, excuse me. Who are you? I work on the docks. I have a letter for you. I've seen that kid somewhere before. What does it say? Go to the lake that lies beyond Raging Bay. I was performing some maintenance on a boat when I suddenly noticed a letter and some money sitting beside me. There were also instructions written on it to hand the letter to a couple walking nearby. And so you came to us. Are you not the right couple? No, no, we are. This letter is for us. Oh, great. Well then, good day. Hold on a second. You said you were performing maintenance on a small boat. Is it yours? Well, yes, but... Could you take us to the other side of Raging Bay in that boat? I remember now. Where are you going? I'd like to have a word with them. Cut it out! They'll see you! Let me go! I said cut it out! And I said let me go! Hey! Don't touch me there, you purr! That was an accident. I wouldn't want to touch you anyway. Hey! was uncalled for. Maybe you don't like cute girls, but I am a living, breathing human being, you know. I have feelings too, but no, you... Hold on, they just got on that boat. Don't try and change the subject. I'm not, look! Oh, hell. What are we supposed to do now? This is all your fault.
You can use my boat. You're after the boat that just left, right? If you leave now, you can still catch them. Hurry up and finish your business. When you're ready to go, talk to me again. Nice, we've secured a ride. Hey, the ship just came in. They just brought tons of cargo into the sea. There may be new items in the store. Well, I think we already got those new items, but maybe we'll check later. Who knows? I saw a child with strange clothing wandering around. It's the truth! Okay, Kobe. Whatever you say. I just arrived on the last ship. Where's that where it's his place? Man, very enlightening uh, dialogue we got here. Some deep stuff. Uh, let's see. Uh, go up here. Is there anything? Anything around? I feel like they throw like a secret chest up here or something like that. But I guess not. There's just nothing up there because... I don't know. Information regarding the regularly scheduled ships to the mainland. I guess there are ships. Oh, you guess? Looking for deckhands. Great benefits! Oh my gosh, Sentinel for Hire? It's locked. Aw oh man, uh, what did it send you? A scallop! Ooh. I love me some scallops. I'm just kidding guys, I've never had a scallop before in my life. Lay off me. A shrimp? Aw oh, man. Gonna make some shrimp salad? Ooh. Things just got real guys. Things just got super cereal. Alright, yeah, there's really not much support on range, just some items you can get your hands on, you know. You know, the huge. A squid? Oh man. A cod? Call of Duty in the chest? Oh man, this game got wild, guys. Uh, anything down here? Nope. Uh, well, we already made our preparations, so let's just talk to our good pal, the, the, the bro. Are you ready? Freaking Nosh? Yeah, sure, man. Let's go. Then get in, I'll get the engine started. You understand the controls? Yeah, I'm used to handling boats. Ha! I knew having an Alliance Marine around would come in handy. Alright, time to set sail! Woo! Engine's a little worn out. Don't ride it too hard. What's the matter? Eh, I lent my boat out to some weird kid. The pay was good, so I just went along with it. A kid? or whatever you people call it. But we're the ones in charge here. You want to save the girl so badly, then take her place. Use that power of yours to serve the commander. The... the terrors... Well, welcome. By order of the commander, we are to assume direct custody of the girl. Yes, ma'am!
would you look at that? Fancy meeting you here. Oh, please. I thought we told you not to come with us. Nice to see you again, Alliance Marine. What are you up to this time? You two know each other? Thanks to him, I wound up having to fight the bouncers. Will, be careful. He's probably working on some scheme right now. Just who are you? Say, Alliance Marines are pretty good with boats, right? And what if they are? I'm not half bad myself. I get anxious when another person and I are good at the same things. I always feel I simply must find out which one is truly better. Don't you? You and I are going to have a little race. Think you can keep up? What a stuck-up little punk! Hey, get back here! He's doing pretty well with that boat. That's an Alliance Marine for you. Don't drag us into your stupid games. Stop this at once. What happened to the woman who was with you? Chloe is in the cabin. She isn't feeling well. But this feels so good. What a shame. I told you to stop this. We're about to speed up. You'd better hold on tight. You're not getting away! Ah! Alright, we're neck and neck! This isn't over yet! Woman adrift at sea. It's just like one of those classic love stories. Will the two fall hopelessly in love? Oh no! Stay back, you manly beast! Keep your weird fantasies to yourself. You didn't like it? Hell no! and getting in Sennel's way. Harriet? For that matter, why are you even here? It should have just been Sennel. Senny, who is this little brat? I don't like her. She's obnoxious. Hey, mind your manners. I rented this boat, you know. Seriously? I'm also the one who told the boat's owner to let Sennel take the helm. Huh. What are you trying to do, Harriet? Um, well... You must have had a good reason if you're going through all this trouble. That's not important right now. Hurry up and fix that engine! All right, it's 
patched up for now. This should last us a little while. Looks like they made it already. Hmm, remember back at the port when Teach and Seen were talking to each other? They said they were going to go to a lake or something beyond Raging Bay. A lake further on, huh? Well, let's go check it out. Fair assessment, Norma. Man! That was such a wacky ride. I have a healing point, which is nice, and a save point. You know what that means, guys? I think this is a good place to stop. Like I said, there will be times where it's just story progress. And this is one of those cases. We didn't really do a lot today. We went to Raging Bay. We did kind of catch up with Will and Chloe as the little little, the little rascal who made us fight the bouncers way back at the start of our journey. Uh, he was driving the boat. We had a little bit of a race and a little bit of engine troubles. And we also learned that Harriet actually rented that boat of ours. And now here we are on Raging Bay, chilling on the coast. And we do know that they have to make it to the lake that's uh, on the opposite side of Raging Bay, so next time on Tales of Legendia, we're going to be going through Raging Bay. See you guys then.